All right, so today we're going to be going over an 820-3662 with no image on the screen. Now, the problem with this board is one that's most often caused when the connector is plugged in sideways, which is also most common uh, problem when other repair stores send me stuff. So this is... Uh, you, c you could probably see over here when I zoom in and just set up the color on the, the microscope camera what, what I'm talking about. It should be pretty obvious. So I'm just going to open up the board view in the schematic for this model board so that you could see what that what that's for. Landrex. Landrex and it's constant complaining. Somebody commented on how I could fix that. The thing is I the funny I read a lot of the YouTube comments at usually like 1 in the morning, so I see it and then I forget what <laughs> who said it and what they said the next day when it comes time to actually implement it. All right, so here we have a burned L8300. So let's look up what L8300 does. L8300 is responsible, if it's an inductor, responsible for getting PP, not PP, PP5VS4, not PP, PP5VS4 over to the LCD to power it and turn it on. Uh, interesting, e funny Easter egg looking thing here. So they have pins 33 to 41 on the schematic here for the LCD connector when there are no pins 33 to 41 on the actual motherboard. Go Apple. So U8300 is responsible when the PCH or the MUX, I th let's see, what is it in this case? The PCH or the MUX? I'm curious. When the PCH or the MUX tells it to send PP5VS4 to the LCD, it will do so. And in this case, it is... U1100. Yeah, so with the PCH. So when the PCH tells U8300 to send to turn on the screen, it's going to send PP5VS4 to V out, which is going to go to this inductor, which then goes to the screen. And just in case anybody does something stupid, stupid, you have this inductor in place, which is being used as a fuse. Uh, so keep in mind here, it's not really going to be used for smoothing out uh, voltage at all. PP5VS4 is going to many other parts of the machine, and it's go it, it has its own smoothing capacitors. It has its own, you know, power supply. It's not it, it's not like a that's not what I wanted. It's not like a power so system where the idea is that it's going to. It's not like a wall charger that puts out you know this rippling crap that you then have to um, that you then have to smooth out later. It's it's a very smooth power rail. So this is I can assume that this is being used as a fuse. Because again, PP5VS4 is going to many other parts of the system, and if we look at the power supply responsible for PP5VS4 over here, you'll see. Let's see. You'll see where it's created. That everything responsible for. Yeah. So on U7501. So this is a buck converter and PP5VS4 is being created here. We have a bunch of smoothing capacitors. We have a bun we have an inductor between the switching output and PP5VS4. So this is a very clean, nice clean line. There's really no need to do uh, additional smoothing. So this inductor is pretty much here as, as a fuse, as a very large fuse. And, uh, it, it's, and it looks like shit. So let's see what happens if we replace it with a sparkling brand new one from a brand new one from a yeah, from another board, right? <laughs> so, let's get the air filter on. Hot air station on, soldering iron on. Vroom. All right. Disgusting. This section of the board looks like it's seen better days. One thing you also may notice, the more I zoom in here, the more that I zoom in, uh, the easier it is to go out of focus if the board moves or the microscope moves in any direction. So the reason that I'm often very using this really zoomed out is not because you know being zoomed out is optimal for the specific item that I'm viewing. It's just because I don't have to worry about the you know it going in and out of focus constantly, which is pretty annoying. So we take this, put it 
put it down there on this beautiful looking motherboard. Beautiful, that's a beautiful looking trace, beautiful looking pad. Factory standards right here. And Yes, looks like the entire trace is kind of ripped up from the board and looks like shit. The other thing, I, I'm pretty sure that this is not a problem here. I just want to see if there's a short inside the LCD connector or something that could have caused that. Again, I'm pretty sure that the short was caused by the screen. And I'm also pretty certain that I'm going to get a quote-unquote warranty call from this person saying that there's no image on the screen after I'm done with this because they're going to plug in the same screen that fucked it up to begin with. Which is why I'd suggest that you don't give these super discounts to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that calls in and says, I have a repair store and I want a discount. Because they're going to drive you fucking crazy. But uh, let's see what we get. Do we get a picture on the screen? One thing that sucks about these retina screens is testing. There's, this is a broken assembly, but I should at the very least be able to tell I'm getting something before this goes off to quality assurance. I'm going to plug this in. And let's see if I get something. Yeah, the cable is really short. Very short. So I'm going to plug in a fan so I can see that it's spinning. This is a 2000, 2013 to 2014 model, so it's not one of those where the fan's not going to spin when you turn it on. That's infuriating with the, new, with the 2015 Retina. It's almost as if Apple figured out, we designed a computer that will not fail from overheating or some stupid shit within a few years of you buying it. Whoopsie! Let's, 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 let's fix that. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? See that? That's my screen getting powered on. And that's that. So be careful of plugging this connector in sideways. If you can't tell if something is broken, uh, what I would do is plug your screen in. Then put your multimeter in ohms or diode mode, red probe on ground, black probe on the pin of the connector for backlight or the pin of the connector for powering the LCD, and check that way. So if you see a short to ground, you'll know, maybe I shouldn't plug this in because it'll blow it up. But that's that.